Hi students, in this video we will see what happens when we run a C program. So here you can see that I have written a hello.c file on the desktop. Let's open a terminal. So this is the hello.c file and let's have a look at its contents. So it's a very simple C program. It just prints hello world and then it returns. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to compile this C program and what is compilation? So this program is something which we can understand but CPU cannot understand it as is and we need to convert this program into instructions that a CPU can understand. So this is exactly what a compiler program like GCC does. It creates an executable file called a.out which contains instructions based on the underlying architecture which is x86 in my case. So if I run gcc space hello.c, it will create an executable file called a.out. So here it is and it contains all the instructions which CPU can understand. So now if I run this a.out, you can see that it printed hello world on the output screen. So what happens when I run this a.out? As we know that every running program is a process. So when I run this program, it will create a new process in the RAM. It will copy this a dot out from hard disk to the main memory and create the memory image. And then CPU will start executing the instructions. So is there a way to see all the processes which are there in the RAM? There is a command called top and I'll open a new terminal. So this top command shows us a list of all the processes and it updates every few seconds. Uh, let's change it to update every one second so I'll use this D argument so now it's updating every second and it is showing me all the processes so now what I'll do is I will run a dot out and try to see a corresponding process in the top output uh, but there are too many processes so I will uh, press the O key and filter it based on command equal to a dot out so you can see that there is no process currently running with uh, a dot out as command so if I just directly run a dot out, it's too fast to see a process popping up in the top's output. So what I'll do is I will add a sleep statement in hello.c file so that it first waits for 10 seconds before executing the printf statement. I will save this file. And now because we have changed hello.c, we need to compile it again to update the executable. Now if I run a dot out and go to the second terminal, we can see that there is a new process with a dot out as command and this is the PID. So this is the process which is running in CPU. It will wait for 10 seconds and print hello world. And after it prints, it will exit. So that's the overall life cycle of a C program. We write a C code, we compile it to create an executable, which a CPU can understand. And when we run an executable, it will create a new process in the RAM and create the memory image. The CPU executes all the instructions and then exits. So that's it for this video. Thanks and have a nice day.